Hello folks, this is Ryan the Tech Guy, and today we're going to be discussing printing to PDF in Windows 10. If you have Windows 10, you now have the ability to print any document on your computer to a PDF file. This can come in handy if you're trying to email that file and you don't want it to be easily changeable, like for instance, a Word document. So here I have uh, OpenOffice. This is just a free word processor that you can download. And I'm just going to call this, this is called a test document. And then down here, we're going to do a line left, make a phony, oops, make a uh, signature line. Signature. Okay, so now we have a uh, test document uh, with a phony signature line. And if you just go up to File Print, it'll bring up your print uh, driver menu. And it's important to note that the uh, this Microsoft Print to PDF, this is what we're looking for. This will appear in any print driver. So if you open, if you go to print in any other program, you'll have very similar window and the Microsoft Print to PDF function will be available for you. Simply select that. It's going to ask you what to save it as. We're going to call this uh, test document and you'll notice it's going to save it as a PDF. Hit save. Now we have a PDF file on our machine, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up the uh, documents folder. So here is test document. This is the PDF that we just printed to. You'll notice it opened up in Adobe Acrobat Reader, which is a totally free program. Link will be in the description below. Uh, now that you have it here, you can either email this off, print it if you need to, but one of the other cool features you have is you have the ability to fill in sign. And if you click on fill in sign, up here you'll notice you'll get a, a sign option and you can add signatures or initials. For this example, we're going to do signature. It allows you to type, so we can type in here uh, and have the custom script that's available. Um, that's one of the options. The other option obviously is you can draw, so if you have a tablet this may be very easy, otherwise if you have a mouse it's going to look really bad like mine does. You, all the, you also have the ability to add an image, which means you can uh, scan an image, which I've gone ahead and done. I went ahead and signed a piece of paper uh, with a phony name, and then I scanned that and saved it as an image. So if you want to do this with your own signature, you're certainly able to do so. That way you can just quickly click on apply pop it right on the signature line, resize it however you need, and move it around. And now you can uh, easily add signatures to PDF documents and print any document you have to PDF.